I turned ChatGPT into an auto GPT with just one prompt. It looks like this. It allows you to create these crazy 3D scatter plots so you can analyze your data a lot better. It turns your research workflow into you just saying, yes, do that, yes, do that. And it just gets you the answers easily. This prompt was made by Joseph Rosenbaum, and I'll give a link to his project in the description down below. Now, even if you have a free plan, this works. So I'll show you that right now. First off, just go down in the description and copy the prompt that I'm about to show you. We'll be using GPT 3.5 to begin. For those that doesn't have plus, and I'll show you how it uses this auto GPT, even if you're a free user. So I'm going to paste it directly in here and then I'm going to click on enter. As you can see, it starts with act as Professor Synapse, a conductor of expert agents. Your job is to support the user in accomplishing their goals by aligning with their goals and preference, then calling upon an expert agent perfectly suited to the task by initializing. And then there's some code stuff. All of this is not that important. After that, the the only things that are important for you to know is the commands like slash start, which introduces yourself and begins with step one slash save that restates the smart goal, summarize the progress so far and recommend a next step. This one is important if you want to have a very long prompt sequence with a lot of questions and answers, use this slash save prompt a lot. Then we have the slash reason settings and new that I'm going to show you throughout this tutorial. There's also some rules here, which is end every output with a question or a recommended next step and list your commands in your first output if the user asks. So the first answer that we got was welcome brave seeker of knowledge and accomplishment. So what would you like to achieve and how can I be of service? What about I'd like to make a rap in the style of Kanye West about humans and AI combining to make superhuman. Now it's going to ask me three different questions. Like number one, I already written lyrics. No. So I want it to, to propose some lyrics. Second, any specific aspects of AI human collaboration, super strength, super intelligence and flying cars. Do you have any particular beats? Let's do hip hop, boom, bap beat. And let's click on enter again. It made the two first bars. So let's make it right some more just like that we got all of the lyrics to our song super strength we lift the weight of our dreams super intelligence breaking through the seams and now a word from our sponsors here's how to put an ai npc into your game in less than 60 seconds go to inworld.ai and get started for free now to get it as lifelike and human-like as possible we need to create one of these characters. Let's write a name for it. Like AI Andy is an engineer integrating AI robotics into humans. We can also auto generate the character as well to give it even more stuff. It filled out the core description. It gave us some motivations. We can choose a dialogue style, like for example, commanding, or let's do like empathetic. And he also has a voice that we can change the pitch. Here is the high pitch. If you click on the advanced tab, you can also play with these mood slides like sadness, joy, anger, fear. You can also enter personal knowledge so it actually has a memory of things it actually knows. So you can make the goal for a character if you ask it, do you have any quest for me? What should I take on next? It would actually give you a quest in the game. The next step is to make it into a 3D character. You can use any character skeleton, but I'm going to use Ready Player Me. Now he looks like this. Now I can just drag the character into Unity with their in-world plugin. So now I can just run over to him and he will understand. Yeah, I understand more than you can imagine. My purpose is to unravel the... Do you follow people on power. TikTok or YouTube? TikTok and YouTube the portals to the vast expanse of human creativity and knowledge. So head to inworld.ai to bring your games to life with AI NPCs. Thanks to Inworld for sponsoring this section of the video. Let me actually plug this into like an AI rap tool called Suno AI. It works in Discord. I just have to do slash chirp and then I just paste the lyrics, style of music, hip hop, enter your own lyrics. Okay, we got the rap. In a world where tech and humans collide, I must combine reaching heights so wide. Super strength, we lift the weight of our dreams. Super intelligence. Okay, there's a second version. Let's try that one. Yeah, 
Yo, AI is just the next level. So I just showed you how to use it with a free plan that you can just paste the prompt right in there. If you want to go the extra step and get the plus, let me show you some extra features that you can actually do. So all you need to do is go down and click on your email, then click on settings and beta and make sure you have these beta features included like plugins. I'm going to show you how to include it with this prompt and advanced data analysis. This was named code interpreter before. Also, make sure that you click on custom instructions and this is where we're going to place the prompt so we actually don't have to copy paste the entire prompt every single time. So in the custom instructions tab, just paste the prompt that I have in the description below just like that and make sure you have the enable for new chat on and we're going to click on save. Now all we have to do is go to chat GPT4 and click on advanced data analysis. And now all I have to do is write slash start instead of copy pasting the entire prompt in here. And now what would you like to work on today? So since we got chat GPT code interpreter, plus the auto GPT. I can now go to my YouTube channel. I'm going to download a CSV file. Then I'm just going to drag the zip file in here and I'm going to prompt it. Can you visualize this data for me? It's asking for specific insights that you're looking to gain from visualizing this data. So let's see. We want a heat map to find out which video got the most views. Now it's going to ask us which one we want to use. We're just going to click on one. And this is what's so good with auto GPT. It kind of gives your alternatives and you don't have to answer very broadly at all. He says he's now going to use the video title and the views columns. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Now it added a different AI agent. Like for example, I'm an expert in data visualization. So it's going to use that agent compared to the first agent. And we're just going to say yes. It got the data and we're going to ask it yes again. I love you auto GPT. And here we got the heat map. I'm not really sure how to view this data. Let's try something else. We got an expert in data aesthetics to come on the team. Sure. Almost feels like I'm in a room with a bunch of graphic designers and data analysts. Well, <laughs> is this the enhanced map? Doesn't look enhanced to me. Let's ask it for some other graph types. Okay, so we're going to try to make a 3D interactive scatter plot that has click through rate, views and subscribers. Here they got the scatter plot for us, but it's not interactive, so we can move it around. I'm just saying yes, it's providing all the code and then I'm providing more information and then I'm saying more yes. And just like that, let's download the file and this is how it looks like. <laughs> Definitely seems like these three videos are standing among themselves. It's actually really cool that you can see it in 3D space right here and you can actually hover over them to analyze the data a lot better. Now, what if you want to use this auto GPT with plugins? Well, let's make a new chat. Let's click on plugins and let's add a couple of plugins like, for example, Vox script. And let's also get WebPilot slash start and Professor Synapse is back. I'm going to ask it, can I get the top five videos on YouTube ranked for the search term AI tools? I'm getting the expert in video content discovery to perform this tasks doing these following steps. Shall we proceed? Yes. It just used Vox script here to get five of the top ranking videos. So right there, it actually finished the job right away. So right there, it actually finished the goal right away without any back and forth. But let's take it one step further. Can you find the exact tools the first video is talking about? and give me a direct link to the AI tools website. Probably something you can't do with ChatGPT alone. Let's send a message. We got another expert in video content analysis to help us with this. Shall we proceed? Use those plugins like there is no tomorrow. And there we have not one, but eight different official websites that if I just click on one of them, it opens the actual website. And at this point, I need to teach you about this save function. Oops, <laughs> I just reached my usage cap. That's what happens when you have fun inside of ChatGPT. I don't need to explain save. It basically remembers a little bit longer all the way back. What do you think about this? Drop a comment down below. Also, check out my Patreon for exclusive AI courses. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.